Hi everyone, this is Doris Hamilton from Global Boutique Wear. I'm doing my video about yoga, which we have as part of our health corner. People are always asking me, well, what do you do to keep fit? And I tell them I do yoga. Now your preference for exercising and keeping fit might be different, but I'm 60, and by 60, where I live, you usually already have some kind of ailment or sickness that you have to deal with. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm avoiding it. And if you're a friend out there who is already feeling some of this ailment and illness, hey, I'm inviting you to join me for yoga, and we can always keep fit and kind of chase away the blues of illness. All right? Okay, here I'm starting up today with some stretches and a bend over, breathe and out again. Whew. After this hard work, this is just good for me. And it helps all the joints wake out of the bed easily in the morning, right? So here we go now. Bring those feet together. And we're going to go straight down to a stretch. Ooh. Come back up. Again, bend over the knees, cross the arms, and breathe into it. Again, bend over the knees, cross the arms, and straighten up. I'm in my classroom, it's an arts and craft classroom. And so you will see all kind of art stuff and things. This after three, school is out. And this is Freeport Grand Bahama. All right. Now, I'm going to go starting from the bottom in a lotus position. And then we're going to come back up gradually to the middle part of our body. And then we'll eventually finish with a good layer of stretches and breathing exercises. Okay. Here we go. All right, now I've got my hands right on the knees and I've pulled them in, okay? I'm pulling my chest out. Hmm. I take a deep breath from my nostrils, my nose, I feel the air. And I let it out of my mouth. Again, a chest out, breathe, and out. Again. Okay, now let's just stretch those legs. Good. Stretch the body, the upright body, spinal straight up and lean the whole body over, hold on, ankles, knees, whichever is convenient. I like to kind of get my Botox out of the way and then try as I can, breathe into it, bring the head down, and then relax it. And now we can get those arms and hands overhead, cross over, stretch them, bring them down, and then repeat stretching all the way to our ankles. If you can go further to your feet, that's even better. Okay, what I like to do while I'm still in this position is do as many of my stretches, my breathing while I'm here, and then I could bring it up gradually in this segment. Okay, now I'm going to lie down. Everybody likes a stretch. Lying on our back is one of the best stretches we can get. Stretch the arms over the head as if you've been pulled in that direction. 
and then stretch the feet at the toes point the other direction stretch the whole legs and from the pelvic all the way down to your toes you're stretching the other way so if someone is standing and pulling your hands going this way your feet going the other way breathe into it release again stretch in both directions breathe into it and release now bring the knee up close to the chest bring the head towards that knee and release it the next one close to the chest bring the head to the knee and release it now bring the two knees hug them up knee close stretch them up hold on to the back of your thumb you can keep the head down if it's comfortable to bring it up bring it against the head moving towards the knees and the knees moving towards the head breathe and release it now let the legs go down and bring the arms slowly back into your stretch To the lotus position. Cross the legs. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do gradually by putting our hand down on the floor. I will take the second hand, stretch over the head, and see how far we can get a stretch. Breathe. Mm. Release, breathe, release, and then we switch sides, palms facing down on the floor, stretch the other arm overhead, breathe, release, breathe, breathe. Now we stretch in our legs back, out. It's a famous twist in which we get our right hand cross over our thigh, our left arm goes up, and twist the body towards our left hand. So see what's behind us. In that case, I'm going to twist the left hand so that you can really see that, giving us this line of good twist.
And we want to keep our two feet together. If you remember earlier, I had gone all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing in this segment. I'm going to go down, down, down. And let the head climb. We want to hold the hands. We'll be walking a baby. Walk to the left. Walk to the right. Again to the left. And again to the right. Stay in the middle this time. And just hang loose. Relax. And gradually come up. Take a deep breath. Get the knees. Cross over. Bring the knees back up as the arms come to the side. I'm going to do that again. Bend the knees. Cross over. And stretch back up. And straighten up. Good. Now we're going to get some more stretches. By using a little bit of the position. This way, the left leg faces the, the front, and the right leg, the right foot turns facing the other way. Get your arms out and stretch. Look in one direction as you move, and bring that hands up straight down. Tips, if you can see them, you don't feel the thighs. You bring it back. When you switch, you have the right toes facing the front and the other one in the other direction. And we're going to repeat the same thing. We just get it stretched out. Face this way, the core And bring that hand down. Clasp around the foot. Keep this one up. And check out your fingers. Breathe. Now you can see that this back to about six inches apart. We want to keep our hands by our sides. Together, send the body back down. This time, we put 
arms on the floor. Look like you're bending your knees slightly by keeping the knees straight. And slowly bring the chin against the body to the chest and breathe out of it. Again. Down. This time we're going to turn our head to just go as far as our knees while we stretch the hand up as much as we can. Higher we can. And slowly raise the body back up. That's a very short segment. For the very beginner, it's easy and or practically anyone could do it in any condition. Now, for those who are requiring a little more vigorous, or not so mild, I should say, exercise in yoga, you can watch the video that's more intermediate right after this video. Thank you. And to get more on our yoga videos for the elderly, for the mature, for the slightly sick person with health issues or who a doctor has recommended that you do some mild form of exercise, um, you're welcome to subscribe to our website, to our newsletter, any way that you can reach us or see more of our videos, you're welcome. You subscribe right at the bottom of the page. Thank you.